Hey everyone, it's Mr. Gibson with the next lesson in cryptography, and today we're going to be taking a look at how to program the tabula recta cipher uh, here in Python. So to get us started, I opened up a new data hub page. Um, I dropped in the code for the text clean function, our character to integer conversion function, and our integer to character conversion function that we've seen before. And we're going to get to work here right away at programming the tabula recta function. So I'm going to go ahead and define that function. It's going to take in a piece of text. It's going to take in a key. It's going to take in an optional uh, keyword argument of encipher that will default to true. And then our letters, which will contain our 26 letter English alphabet by default, just to get us going here. So remember, the tabula recta cipher works by taking a single letter from a message and then a single letter from a running key and then using the tabula recta to look up the uh, either the plain text letter or the cipher text letter, depending on the order you're using it. Um, so we're going to have a goal here. We're going to document this in a documentation string is that our inputs, our arguments, when we have our argument of text, which is a string, it's going to represent a single letter. And when we have key, which is a string, it too will just represent a single letter. So we're not going to try and do tabula recta here where it does the entire enciphering or deciphering of a message for us, just a single letter at a time. Um, we'll round out our documentation string here by saying encipher, which is a Boolean. And then our letters, which is a string, optional, just like the Boolean, is optional. Um, and the Boolean uh, determines if encipher or decipher. Decipher would be false, and encipher would be true. And our optional um, is just the alphabet that the text is written in. And we'll check this typo over here. All right, and we know that it will return, the idea of a tabula recta is that it's going to return some string. Okay, let's get to work on the actual code. So for the code here, if you think about it, we're gonna to wanna to make sure that we've got our single letter text, and we wanna make sure that it is clean. And in this case, if it's just a single character, what that really means is we wanna make sure it's capitalized. So, uh, but we should run the text clean function because it'll also check to see uh, is it a valid character and all those other good things you wanna make sure that, that are true about our text. And then I'm gonna do the same thing for the key. I wanna make sure that our key is formatted correctly and that it's an appropriate uh, letter that's in the alphabet. Okay, and we want this one function to be able to do both enciphering and deciphering. So let's go ahead and create those two branches of code now. If encipher equals true, for now I'm just gonna put a pass statement there, um, and then else we'll have another pass statement there, and then when we are done, we're gonna to wanna to return whatever output we just generated, which should be a string. So let's uh, keep that in mind, that we actually need to create that string somewhere along the way. So this function probably would run, but it's not gonna do anything. So let's go ahead here and actually put some uh, meat here into this if statement. So if you think about what we want the tabula recta to do, is we want it to take our text, our single letter text, and convert that to an integer, and then do the same with the key, and then add them together, mod by the length of the alphabet, and that will determine our new ciphertext value. Remember, this is just a repeated, uh, Caesar cipher is all that the um, tabula recta does, is that it just keeps reusing Caesar cipher over and over again. So that's what we're gonna try and recreate here. This code will probably seem very familiar. So let's start by getting a numerical version of our plain text, since we are in the encipher mode. We know that the text that we were given um, is plain text. So we'll do a character to integer conversion on that piece of text and store that to a numerical plain text variable. And now we're gonna do the exact same thing with the key. We're gonna take our single character key and run that through the character to integer conversion function. And then to get our numerical ciphertext value, we're gonna add those two together. So we're going to, uh, in parentheses, do numerical plain text, add that to numerical key.
And then we're gonna mod by, in theory, 26, but let's just keep the code flexible here. Let's just say the length of letters. We know that that's 26 for us right now, but if we ever change this so that we have a different length alphabet, then this'll change as well. So keeping it all up to date, very flexible. And now lastly, we want to get our ciphertext uh, character. We have the number for it, so we're gonna do our integer to character conversion of our numerical ciphertext value. And then that's what we're gonna want to return eventually, is that we're gonna want to return uh, the ciphertext. So I guess we don't need that return at the bottom. All right, before we run, just caught another typo. We should be doing text clean on the input value key and assigning that to key. So now we should be all set. Before we had text here, then that wouldn't that wouldn't make any sense. Um, so let's try this now. If we do the tabula recta function on the letter B and we give it the letter D, we should know behind the scenes that B is one and D is three. So when we add those two values together, we should get a ciphertext value of E and we do. All right, so now we need to write the decipher function. So we'll go back here and the decipher should be really similar. We're gonna take our text, only now when we're deciphering, the text is ciphertext. So we'll name that variable numerical ciphertext and that will take our character and convert it to integer of our text. And we'll do the same thing with the key, numerical key equals char to int of the key. And to make our numerical plain text that we're creating through our deciphering, it's gonna be very similar to what we did above. Only remember when we're deciphering, we subtract the key from the value of the ciphertext, not plain text. And then we will still mod by however many letters are in our alphabet that we're using. So in this case, 26. And then lastly, we're gonna get our plain text letter by taking the actual numerical plain text and do an int to character conversion on numerical plain text. And then that's what we'll return is the plain text back. So let's see if that's true. If we had a letter of E with a key letter of D and we set our in cipher mode to false, we should get back to B, which is correct because E is four, D is three, subtract the difference there and we get one and one is equivalent to B. So what we have here is a functioning tabula recta uh, code base here that takes a single character for the text, a single character for the key and a Boolean to decide whether we're gonna encrypt with that key or decrypt with that key and then returns the resulting plain text or ciphertext letter. So this will be a really helpful function for the rest of our tabula recta based ciphers like Visionaire, AutoKey, Trithemius. Um, we'll just have to wrap this up in a larger function that is responsible for iterating through all the characters in the message one at a time. And then we can encipher each character using this tabula recta function. So it'll just be, um, it'll do a lot of the, the legwork here for future functions that we'll write that really just need to make sure that you've got your text and your running key already ready to go and you can pass them off to this one, one letter at a time and this will do all the rest. All right, that should do it. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one.